हम इंडियंस को शादियाँ बहुत पसंद हैं और शादियों का एक इम्पॉर्टेंट हिस्सा होता है कपड़े और सबसे ज़्यादा इम्पॉर्टेंट होता है दुल्हन के कपड़े इट्स एवरी ब्राइट्स ड्रीम टू लुक मेजमराइजिंग ऑन दियर वेडिंग डे एंड सब्य साची इज हेल्पिंग दो ड्रीम्स कम ट्रू फॉर मैनी ब्राइड्स रीगल ऑथेंटिक एंड अ परफेक्ट बैलेंस बिटवीन ट्रेडिशन एंड मॉडर्निज्म आर द थिंग्स दैट पॉप इन टू वंस माइंड वेल थिंकिंग अबाउट अ सब्य साची क्रिएशन एंड इज इन दैट वट एवरी ब्राइड वॉन्स अ ब्राइडल अटायर टू बी लाइक So how did Sabya Sachi stitch the dream of becoming India's top fashion designer? Welcome to Marketing Mind and I am Reza Sheikh and today we'll be talking about how Sabya Sachi went from rags to riches. This is your daily reminder to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you get updated every time Marketing Mind uploads a new video. Born on 29 February 1974 in a middle class Bengali family, Sabya Sachi was always interested in handicrafts and craftsmanship. He always got attracted to design, fashion and more and his inspiration was ace designer Rohit Ghosla. While he was always drawn into the world of fashion, his family background restricted him from taking a step forward. At the age of 15, when Sabya Sachi put forth his dream of becoming a fashion designer, his parents refused as they were going through a lot. His father lost his job. and fashion designing was not considered to be a well paid profession his parents also didn't have enough financial resources to back up his further studies so fashion was a big no for him since sabya's parents were against his career of choice he couldn't find any other way and decided to leave his home he left behind everything to follow his passion but the road ahead was filled with stones he left home and came to goa after his parents refused to pay the fees for the nift exam however he started working as a waiter in goa and paid all the fees for the ace designing institute with all the hard work and passion sabya sachi graduated from the national institute of fashion technology and decided to start his own label he borrowed 12000 rupees from his sister and with this small amount he started his own store with three employees as sabya sachi said I wanted to make very beautiful handcrafted clothing which stood for a regional and national identity because without an identity a design house can never be original. I also wanted to focus on clothing that offered quality and lent women dignity. Even after graduation and starting his own label, he had to continue his hard work to make his life work. He used to work on his designs at night and the struggle continued for almost 5 years. Sabya got his first big show as he debuted at the Indian Fashion Week in 2002 his designs got him enough appreciation and the women's wear daily proclaimed him as the future of indian fashion later sabya sachi also made his first international runway debut in 2003 and got the grand winner award at the mercedes benz new asia fashion week in singapore and the son of sabya sachi started to rise the year 2006 was a big year for sabya sachi and his label He showcased his collection The Nayar Sisters at the prestigious Oxford University annual black tie charity dinner fashion show and became an international sensation. Later he continued his reign and showcased his designs at New York Fashion Week, London Fashion Week, Bridal Asia, Kuala Lumpur Fashion Week, Miami Fashion Week and more. Sabya Sachi is also the only Indian designer who was invited to showcase his label At the Milan Fashion Week 2004, Sabya Sachi's design debuted in Bollywood with Sanjay Leela Bansali's film Black, for which he also won the national award in 2005 for the best costume designer for a feature film. Films such as Babul, Laga Chunri Mein Daav, Ravan, Guzarish, Pa, No One Kill Jessica also witnessed the creation of Sabya Sachi. After ruling on ramp and film, Sabya Sachi also made his name as the dream label for the wedding couture. In 2011, a show named Band Baja Bride came out that created a lot of buzz around, wherein the host, along with the designer Sabya Sachi Mukherjee, gave the would-be brides a glamorous makeover in an attempt to give them the perfect fairy tale wedding. From Anushka Sharma to the newlywed Alia Bhatt, all the leading ladies of Bollywood opted for Sabya Sachi design for their wedding day. Natasha Poonawala, an Indian businesswoman. Walk the Met Gala 2022 red carpet in a sari created by Sabya Sachi and Deepika Padukone slayed in full Sabya Sachi at Cannes jury photo call as well as the red carpet on the opening night of Cannes Film Festival 2002 as Sabya Sachi said for an Indian designer to be successful in the west it is very important to do global clothing with a very strong indian soul 
In my own little way, I want to instill a sense of nationalism and indigenous identity within a customer who is grappling with confusion. Fashion can be a very unkind world because it makes a living feeding on people's insecurities. As a brand, we try to keep our customers secure by helping them find an identity that is very close to who they are. So this is how Sadhisachi went on from borrowing 12,000 rupees to start his own venture to today having an annual turnover of 11 million dollars. Do you too dream of wearing a Sabe Sachi creation? Let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Marketing Mind for your daily dose of learning something new.